you know what I forgot? You're gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> the ladder on the rooftop. <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I meant to get up there, Brie? Climb, climb, <laughs> climb. This, my people, is what happens when you forget the ladder. <laughs> Wait, so you do it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that part that's hard. <laughs> some wombat holes and essentially some of the games we're trying to come up with is reversing through them backwards a bit of a time challenge we're trying to come up with something fun that you guys can sort of get interactive with and win some prizes because we've got heaps of stuff to give away uh, so we thought may as well make you earn it um, so we're just playing around we're checking out some of the tracks and seeing what we can do so if you guys have any ideas on games that you would love to see make sure you comment below and uh, I'll see if I can uh, credit you them and we'll make them a game for the event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you'll get through there in that. We 
We're gonna try. Probably not, we'll see. <laughs> Not my car. I reckon this thing will hit the bumper straight up. Racing loves it. Yeah, she'll just we'll crawl through it. Yeah. I don't reckon it's gonna go through. I reckon it's gonna bottom out and diff out. So I've given Josh the keys to the N80. We've actually brought it out this weekend. First time testing and really using this tall conversion. So um, <laughs> see if we get through. How I'll give it a go. <laughs> What's your plan here, Dad? A bit of pepper. A bit of pepper, you reckon? Oh, I'm bogged down. She's spinning hard. <laughs> Give me a We didn't talk about it. <laughs> we just drive a track. I love that Deeks talked a big game that the Raptor was way better than the Hilux and he's not even giving it a go. Hey, where's your Insta stories now, brother? <laughs> huh? Where's your Insta stories now about Hiluxes? You can outrun the devil, but you ain't gonna outrun me. So we're gonna go through here, but it's quite a hill, it's hard to tell, and it's very slippy. And he's just trying to turn around and gotten a bit stuck. I think the rule of thumb is if the buggy can't do it, we can't do it. So now we're gonna go back into the riverbed and turn around. Down to the river. Down to the river. What happened? Uh, quite a little bit stuck. A little bit slippery. Yeah, and I'm worried if we go to the left, we might slide with the cars. Yeah, right? they're quite heavier than yeah, this. So, um, we'll go back out, and we'll we have got to head back up there anyway. Okay. Do the jackhammer, but we'll uh, try and do a U-turn here and go again, I suppose. How's your ride? Oh, I can't say what I want to say, but <laughs> I was like this. You did well. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I don't know if it was anyway. I'm gonna, almost gonna winch up, but I just went back in. No, you got it. Daddy taught me how to give. Both of them had their own sins. Down to the river. Every man has felt the shame. All I love, it runs the same. Father, he you gonna drive it? Am I gonna drive it? Am I gonna drive up? I was saying, Tony could go up here from what's my Well, <laughs> well um, I'll give it a go. The 80's airing down, he's gonna give it a crack. See if we can actually get off this one. Okay, so I spotted this little hill climb when we were going for a drive before. And I might be a little ambitious to attempt it, but by the way, guys, this is Lucinda that I was Hello. talking about. Uh, she's coming in for the ride. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Oh, you'll be fine. Uh, we'll see. Full faith. <laughs> Full cool faith, you can do this. Let's make sure my lockers work. They got a really bad leak, so that's all we're gonna hear on the end. Oh, baby, I think I want you. Someday, somehow, I'll see. I'll be free. Shit, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make you. Like, don't know what my face looked like then, because I went to like full <laughs> concentration mode as soon as I got that first bit, because I was like, oh, God. Oh, Yeah, 
every day. Bad song, you went to the gym. I know, it's been a while. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> So this is the main reason that I brought Bridie. I had to make her good for something. She can make us lunch. It's on the menu. Chicken cupid mayo avocado wraps. Yum. Interested? I think he wants wraps. You want what? You want some cupid mayo? Doing a bit of a lunch break. It's like nearly two o'clock or something. 1.30 or something. So we will come have lunch. They've pulled out their bikes. They're having a bit of a ride around. We've got the bikes out. Um, I think we might just have a couple games here this afternoon, relax, and maybe do a bit more wheeling tomorrow. We'll see. We um, all wheeled out, and plus a few of the cars people didn't want to do, like hard stuff. So we thought we've had our fun for the morning. We've seen a bit of the property that we need to see. Come back for some food and just chill out. Full set! Bridie, what did you just say to me? I think I should give it a go. You think you should give it a go? What do you guys reckon? Should I let her drive my car? She just got her peas like a couple weeks ago. On auto? Auto. She has driven the patrol before when she was on her L's. It's been a while since you've driven manual. Maybe I'll let you drive you through. Maybe. Step by step. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Did Wombats actually make them holes? <laughs> I was going to say, it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not letting you drive. But look, the fans here that keep first. If I break something or damage something or stall it. That's you, you're paying for it. No, it's you. Because you're the one giving me a go. You just got your license. Are you going to reach the pedals? Yeah, man. I've got the boots on. Push the clutch in, though. What one's the clutch? Oh, my God. <laughs> the one on the left. Left. <laughs> yeah. So, because it's in low range, it's going to be really talky. That when you let that clutch out, it's going to pop really quick. So you need to be able to go really slow from the bottom of it. You won't have to accelerate if anything. You're going to have your foot on the brake. This one? Yeah. Okay, so start it. And yeah, you need to have the clutch out. all the way in. Yeah. Yep. Once we're rolling, it's going to go really slow. You're not even going to have to brake or accelerate because I've got reduction gears. So it will just be really slow, right? It's just when we come out, you're going to have to accelerate a little bit and then we're going to have to stop. But if anything goes wrong and I'm yelling stop, if you just push the brake, the car's gonna stall. You gotta push both the middle and the left one in, okay? Shh. Okay, not all the way to start it. <laughs> Is that even Ready? It should be in enough. <laughs> left leg, slowly, slowly let it out. Yep, and take your foot off the brakes slowly as well. Just oh, my foot's not even on the brake. Okay, well, just let your clutch out slowly and the car will start to roll. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You got it. You didn't even stall let the clutch it. Out. Yeah, let it out fully. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Take your foot off the clutch. Okay. Off the clutch. Now what? Steer it. Okay. <laughs> no brake. Ready to accelerate? Yeah. Accelerate a bit. Yeah, a bit more. 
back off a little bit. Turn right, 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 right. Yeah, right. left. Now, because you're going to come back down. Left, left, left. Yeah. Now just keep it straight, and we're just going to go steady. Just let the car crawl. <laughs> It doesn't show you it all by itself. Yeah. It's an accelerator. Car now, guys. You reckon? It's start accelerating. Concentrate on what you're doing, okay? <laughs> start turning left. Yeah? Yeah, just hold it there and then you start going shopping and you start accelerating a little bit. Not too hard. Yeah, just like that, a bit more. And hold it on consistently. That's it. Accelerate more, more, more. Left. That's it. That's it. Don't hard lock left. Yep, that's good. Just keep accelerating. Mate, I just did that. I know you did. <laughs> high five. That was, that was a terrible high five. <laughs> Knuckles! <laughs> yeah. Good job. So it wasn't that bad. Good practice for manual. We'll get you a little Suzuki Matara you can drive. Awesome. Put it in neutral. Handbrake on. Now hold the clutch in and turn it off. Turn the key and there's a red button on the turbo timer. And then you put it back in gear because my handbrake don't work. You did oh, it. That was mad. Buy me a car now. <laughs> Good buy your car. Save some money and I'll help you build a car. How about that? Deal. What are we doing? We have an idea for a game. So we have our wombat holes here. So there's a driver, passenger. Passenger has to hold a spoon out the side with an egg on it. First one to drop it or crack it or, you know, fall off loses, obviously. I don't think it'll be too hard because it's not too it's scary. Teamwork. But, yeah, it's definitely teamwork with um, timing and um, yeah, get your revs right. But yeah, we'll see how this one goes anyway. All right, who's our first team? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. Help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he almost dropped it in my car already. <laughs> oh, God. I'm about to make a cake. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Speed up a bit. Speed up a bit. some checks on this team over here. Nah, we need to inspect your spoon. Nah, I need to inspect your spoon. Can you please lift up your egg? Open your mouth and get rid of the gum. <laughs> no, not on the spoon. <laughs> oh, this is good. They wet the spoon. Oh, who wet the spoon? They dropped in the water, I think. Or he wet it on purpose. Oh, the gum doesn't stick to it. Oh, it doesn't. Well, there goes our plan. Yeah, we well, hang on, we're gonna dry the gum out. Perfect. Team yeah, all day. Let's go. You gotta get that gum off straight yeah, away. 100. Oh, look at it. Can I just sit on the cup holder? What? Grab second, bro. What are you doing? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's their time? 56, 74. What was the other boys? One, and they dropped. No, 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 you, you had gum on that. You had gum on that. I even wet it, look, it was wet. You had gum really on that. Has, Where's your gum? It was in your mouth when you started. <laughs> when I come up to the camera last. Why is it gone? Oh, he dropped it in the car. Because <laughs> you told me to spit it out. No, you, are you chewing <laughs> before yeah, you, you started? <laughs> you said coming at you cheating. Doesn't matter, you ain't finished your last. <laughs> yes. They cheated. That's so wrong. So right, baby. That's we not won. gonna be on, I promise you. That's not. Yes, he was just testing the boundaries. Oh my god, I thought. I reckon because he's right. cheated, he's got one of you has got to eat the egg. Oh, fuck, <laughs> man. I'll try it. He had to go, he had to go. It was your idea. <laughs> Wait, we won, doesn't matter. Where's that throw? You were slow at coming checked. You knew, you knew better. You knew better. Anyway, let's go find Jamie and go for a wheel. Right, 
so as we said last night, we're creating this event and we want to have some fun interactive games for you guys. So this was just a bit of an idea of some of the fun games we're going to have. We're going to have more four-wheel drive based games as well. Um, but drop in the comments games that you can come up with for the weekend and uh, we'll put them in because we'll, we have a few ideas. So I'm going to show you all of them because we don't want you practicing or finding cheat codes to them. But um, let us know on Saturday. We've got heaps of games and heaps of activities happening. Um, a big schedule with heaps of brands coming down so we're really excited for this event and now we're just going to head out and find a couple more tracks as a bit of a lookout so we're going to check out the park a bit more today and do a little bit more wheeling because when you come here you're still more than welcome to come out and see the tracks for yourselves and take the cars for a bit of a wheel. Absolutely stunning this little creek runs actually finished up on this like own little private beach um, it runs in like multiple directions that way and fully just opens up down here but the track we're going just goes up here and it's going back into the place called God's Land at TJ's Park which is where we plan to host the games um, but wow what a run that was probably one of the best creek runs I don't think I've ever done what do you reckon I reckon this is if you're a girl, come and get a forward drive and get amongst it. <laughs> English? Yeah, amongst it. Get amongst it. If you're a girl, get amongst it. I'm going to buy a forward drive soon. Right. Reason I'm buying me a forward drive. Sure what do we reckon, guys? That was oh, mad. So good. Like I'll a private see. beach with cow poo. You don't get that every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick outro to let you guys know a little bit more about Milk for Wellness. So if you do follow me on Instagram, which is where I have most of my updates and I talk about these things quite often, keeping you up to date with what my plans are and what's going on, that's a good place to keep up with it. But if you are following me there, you would have noticed that I actually have started opening up about my mental health and the struggles I've had, well, my entire life, but in particular, the last 12 months. So when Lucinda reached out to me and told me that she wanted to hold an event um, like this and have me involved, I jumped straight at it because it aligns with me so, so deeply. And I have been wanting to do something like this for a while. And now working with her and having her support has just made that possible. So this event, our tagline, I guess you could say, is conquer the train and conquer the stigma. Essentially what we are trying to do is just break down the barriers around mental health and make it less of a taboo topic and encourage you to speak up or just check in on your mates. This event is for the people that just want to come out and make friends with like-minded people in the four-wheel drive industry 
or if you're looking for somewhere where you can have a chat and open up or even just listen to some relatable topics that will probably be spoken about over the weekend. At the end of the day, we're trying to break the stigma of mental health and you know, I find that there is a lot of people in the four drive industry that keep it hidden, myself included, I have for years. So I am so excited for this event. We have a bunch planned. We have a whole heap of interactive games. We have over $10,000 of prizes that we'll be raffling off and all the money will be donated to charity, the Black Dog Institute and also Beyond Blue. So you will have the option to choose where you would like to donate your money uh, for the charity of your choosing. We want to give you the power and where you chose that money to go and what charity it would be going to. It also is fancy dress. So we're calling it Vintage Rumors. So bring your best grandma or grandpa outfits. We will have prizes we'll be handing out all day for best dress, camaraderie awards, and a whole heap of other things. Honestly, I believe that everyone will probably be walking away with something from this event. We've organized so many brands to be involved and we're so thankful for their support. They've given us so many products to give back to you guys. So this is an event to come out, get yourself some goodies, make some new friends, and let's break the stigma of mental health. Now, if you are keen to come, Tickets are limited. We're capping it at 200. We've nearly reached that number. The event is this weekend, but we've saved a few tickets for the YouTube viewers because I've just put it out there. So if you are keen to come, make sure you jump over to the Saving True Blues website. I'll put it in the description below. The tickets are limited, so make sure you're quick. But other than that, I'm so excited to see so many of you this weekend at TJ's Fulby Park in Howes Valley, New South Wales.